Welcome to the Imaginer's Workshop. I'm here at Wiregrass, just outside of Big Water, Utah. This is a trail that's about four and a half miles on Highway 12 in the Glen Canyon Recreational Area. And uh, supposed to be some hoodoos and voodoos and uh, some natural bridges on this trail. We'll see what's going on. Well, it doesn't look like this trail has traveled too much, either that or the rain has just washed away any footprints. Eh, it's going to be interesting. Well, not too far on this trail, we've come to a place that, uh, okay, which way does the trail go now? It's a pretty good drop off. I think we're going to have to climb up. We're going to have to climb up, up there. Yep. But then it doesn't, the trail pick up down there, right there. Yeah, it's, it's down there. I don't see a way to get down there. Well, we we just made it down. Not too bad. Uh, and, uh, I sure wouldn't want to be here in a big flood where if the sky was uh, any different than this. Uh, there's not a cloud in the sky, which I'm happy. I don't see anything in the back because when you're hiking in this kind of country here in uh, the Escalante and the Glen Canyon Recreational Area, you want to keep an eye on the on the sky because uh, flash floods can happen even when you don't see the clouds. Look at this rock here. <laughs> it's like yeah, wow. That's crazy looking. Well, there's a lot of footprints uh, on this trail right now and uh, we're keeping an eye on that knoll that's behind me there, just so we can keep track. Uh, there's a few little gullies that go off to the left, uh, but we're gonna stay to the right. It's an amazing landscape. It's almost like the backside of the moon. See the limestone strata, amazing. We're going uh, down an elevation. The only thing is we're gonna have to climb back up. Well, it looks like we should be seeing the uh, Roadrunner and the Wiley Coyote here with these uh, formations. Right on the top there.
Well, it looks like some uh, deep little cuts in the rock here. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna wanna go down that way cause I gotta come back up. Well, I crawled down here into this uh, hole and uh, I knew that it might be a little tricky. And I can see that there's several steps and I'm not sure about that one right over there and how far it drops, but it looks like it drops a, a ways from what I can tell. And this rock is so cold. Well, I crawled down here into the hole and I can see that this is uh, not a place where I would be able to traverse right now. Uh, and uh, it looks like a big drop off. Not willing to do that today. Well, we decided to uh, go up rather than down. We're going to see what it looks like. There's the other side of it. Sounds like this. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well. This is incredible. Uh, there's a... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Down through there. Oh wow, look at, yeah, that, that drops down pretty good. I don't know how you get down there over on this other side. Well, I think we've come to the end of where we're gonna be able to go here today. It's just, uh, it's either gonna be straight down or, and then straight back up. Well, we decided not to go down into the canyon because uh, we've got to come up. So now we're gonna, take the high trail and see where it goes. But I can see the canyon below, right down there. You can see it, look at that down there. I mean, if you could get down there, that'd be pretty cool. But it's the getting down there that's the hard part. Well, we've uh, come to the end of the trail now. We uh, decided we'd take a look and see what's here, but I think there's, there's a natural bridge that uh, goes across there. The only problem is I don't feel like having to jump down and climb back up. And there's a canyon. You can see the effects of the water that have rushed through here. You wouldn't want to be down there on a cloudy day. Oh yeah. I'm glad it's not a windy day. Well, I think this is one of the natural bridges. But I'm not willing to walk across it right now. Whoa. I guess we'll turn around. And remember, the best is yet to come.